Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to take a look at the new Joy Toy Officially Licensed Warhammer 40k Space Marines Blood Angels Aggressor 118 scale action figure. This is the packaging that it comes in. It's a black box. At the top on the, of the video, on the left, we have the Joy Toy Warhammer Officially Licensed logos. We have age recommendations on the right of the video, uh, 15 and up. These are for adult collectibles. At the bottom, we have the Warhammer logo and the name is product. And we have a very nice artwork of the figure on the front. Looks pretty cool. Top of the packaging, we do have Warhammer 40k um, logo. You can see my box is bent. We can thank Locker, Locker Toys for that. On the bottom of the Warhammer 40k logo, and on this side, we have the Blood Angels Aggressor nameplate with the Warhammer 40k logo and it cooperates if you want to pause and read that you can and then on this side we have some Chinese and some other information if you can read that UPC age recommendations and of course please recycle your box okay here's what the aggressor looks like inside the clamshell see how well he's packaged okay here he is outside the clamshell my first impressions are this guy is a beast it looks fantastic. The materials feel good. He has a lot of weight to him, a lot of uh, um, paint, a lot of sculpting going on. Um, oh, nice looking aesthetics. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take start taking a look at the guy from head to toe. On the top, we have the rocket launchers. We have the white rockets. We do have that very nice red blood angels color. A couple of silver studs throughout here makes it look like you know real assembly has been applied to this character um looks really good here we have that half art open dome on his head we have the blue helmet this time red eyes black there on the front of his nose some silver there on the bottom some silver circles on the side looks really very really nice lots of sculpting we have this very nice charcoal uh, skull and wings looks very menacing on this side, we have this plate here, the three uh, gunmetal studs. We have the Bloody Angel's uh, insignia on his pauldron. We have some sh shading throughout this figure. We have the like a very light flat black that kind of goes from dark to light as you go into the pauldron throughout the figure, kind of the same pattern. On this arm, where we have the guns. We'll take a closer look at the guns here. We have the gold shells. We have the uh, we have nice line work here to make this pop. The back we have silver connectors on the jumper or either cable or wire, whatever we want to call it. Cable here, uh, here we have the silver on the uh, plate here on the back. Uh, it's like a connection plate to the uh, for the wiring. Very nice. We have the gun. Drill through. Drill through the side also very cool this hand here we is an open grabbing hand and then we have two studs very cool on the side plate we have an inside uh, hip plate here on this arm is really decked out pretty cool same plate i think this is more or less to protect the side of the head from any uh sidewood fire we have this uh rope here and just underneath the rope we have the blood angels logo that looks fantastic very very cool how nice that is and then hanging on the rope here we have some like medallions i'm not sure what this is called but with the blood angels it's a metallic red with a gold trim and we have this like beaker maybe is that blood inside there that's pretty awesome that is these charcoal wings are awesome and it's a metallic blood uh drop there with the very fine gold trim here's the gun the gun is pretty much the same i believe as the other side yeah the same gun that we just looked at but this hand is actually a closed fisted hand but yeah, it does have the two silver studs inside or bolts side nice line work on his uh stomach area he has a uh, hip plate here we have this very soft like a plastic very manipulative manipulative um 
we have these uh, two pieces hanging from the rope. We have this gold box with a key in it. It's, it's a silver key. Then we have these two bones tied together here. That's really cool. That looks like almost like a real rope, but it's not. It's painted like a silver. It comes up through onto this little connector. That's pretty awesome. And then underneath there, we do have these little black lines here. Nice. We have some signia or something there. We have another one on here on the knee. It's done in yellow and black. It looks fantastic. And then his feet. The thing about this feet, he has, has like this cut here in the side. It's almost like high heels. The back of this guy is just as detailed, if not more, than the front. On the back of the uh, jet pack, backpack, whatever you want to call it, power pack. We have some couple of studs up here, silver bolt studs. Um, we have the black uh, inside the vent here. We have these, uh, these air um, vents here, done in gunmetal. Nice shading with the black uh, throughout, black here. On the back here, the, where we house the actual um, sh uh, ammunition. We do have this very nice, this looks like metal, like in person, it's incredible. I mean, you look at the pictures online, you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. But you really pops out when you see this guy in hand. Silver-ish, gunmetal -ish color here and here. A lot of different kind of surfaces. I mean, look, I mean, you got these rolling like pins here. The one thing it didn't is studs do out the uh, housing, but inside there, the shells here are silver. Uh, it might be an issue, like a... Uh, with QC, but uh, you know, they should be gold to match the shells here on the front. These are gold, and if those are silver, but it's not a big deal because I mean, it could be the end of each shell, like it could be gold body, and then the ends are silver. Who knows? That's what I'm going with. Um, we'll save this uh, here for a second. We're gonna use these tubings from the uh, top of the back of the leg to the calf muscle, very flexible gunmetal. So, the wiring are the same on both sides. The, so we have the belt fed ammunition um, piece here, very soft, uh, it's a little hard right there on that bend ratio, but um, I love how they attach this wire to the belt fed because it goes, it has these red little connectors and this, and this isn't like glue, this is all free flowing plastic here, if I can get that to come out. See that's all free flowing, it's no... So that's really realistic looking. That's fantastic. Right down there, it's very neatly done. And that comes up, connects to that. And I'm guessing this is maybe the power box that powers the weapon. If I had to guess in any kind of real, real world scenario. This guy is fantastically sculpted and uh, detailed. This is probably my favorite part right here. It's amazing. That looks really good. I love that metallic paint they're using. Okay, so for articulation, of course, this guy's a big guy, so he's going to be hindered a good bit. You got to expect that. Nothing's perfect, but um, the top here we have these rocket launchers. They do lay back like that, so they can go upward. Get out, you know, and then they can go forward if you like. Um, don't need articulation. You might as well do this real quick. These do rotate. Mine's very stiff. They rotate 360 like all the other ultramarines, but uh, I don't want to heat mine up. I don't want to break it. And then the head here, he can't. It's very hard to get in with your fingers. He turns side to side to the uh, little piece here, hits the side. So you can get to side to side and you can get a little down. Then it's back to stationary. Of the arms here, they're on a butterfly joint. You can see a side there. They go in and out to help you. But mine seems to want to stay in the outward position. I don't know if it's because of the sure weight. Uh, it kind of stays up when I raise the arms. It stays inside, I should say. When I raise the arms, see? If I bring this arm up, it kind of stays back. And then when I bring the arm down, it kind of wants to pivot out. And I think it has a lot to do with the, with the weight of this arm and then, you know, this hose and wire pushing outward on it because it doesn't want to stay like this. It wants to stay in this natural bend radius like that. So it's not really broken. I think it's just the overall design. 
Um, his arm does have a 360 rotation on it, but it's a soft ratcheting in there. But you're only going to get it so far because this is connected. You're really not going to get a 360 all the way around, but it's there. You know, the butterfly joints. The pauldrons are on their own ball bell joints. And you can move them side to side, up and down, pull them up a little bit, move it out. They're both of these do the same thing. Uh, the figures do have double joint elbows. Very cool. Um, they raise up not too good, but you can get some upward motion. There's a 360 rotation here. Again, it's not going to do it because of the connection points of the bell fed um, piece. There's no other articulation in the lower arm here after the uh, this piece up in here. Right there is turning. Oh, this is a stationary piece. No articulation in the hands or fingers or anything like that. Um, so the chest area, we have you know, a little crunch for the guy here. He does look back very nicely. Forward and forward. And you got a little side to side. There's a 360 rotation here, but there's a lot going on with this guy. I'm not going to attempt that. You can see me start it. If you want to force that on your figure, you can. Um, thigh rotation is there. Uh, splits, not too much on the sides. A little bit more this way. And then a sitting. These guys ain't made to sit. These are powerhouse dudes that stick on your front lines and put down some massive suppressive fire. They're not going to sit in their vehicle. So sitting is pretty mute for these characters. But you can, I mean, in a very large scale vehicle. I mean, that's about all you're going to get if he's sitting straight up. Um, he's more going to have to like stand in a, in a transport or something. It's definitely going to be very interesting when George Wood does with vehicles, especially if we get that far and how we're going to transport our larger uh, Marines. On the back, double jointing knees. Now we have these hoses here and they're very flexible. I'm not seeing any issues about, you know, bending the double jointed knees to where we're going to uh, stress on a plastic. It looks like it's just meant to bend perfectly, bend, uh, perfect bend ratio here. So it doesn't uh, uh, get that uh, warping or stress marks. And that's both knees. Uh, the feet yeah, up, somewhat down. We can move side to side. You can probably force that 360, but I'm not going to because these cylinders kind of stop it. Um, toe articulation up. Uh, you got the rocker a little bit, but that's about it for the articulation. Don't think I missed anything. Incredible figure. But it doesn't come with any accessories. Everything you get is on his person. Um, Nothing fell off, so that's a good thing. Uh, seems to be pretty well um, put together. No issues there with any kind of fiddliness, but who knows? Copies could vary. I'm kind of happy. This, well, you know, these uh, butterfly joints kind of irritate me just a bit, but I think I get what's happening. You guys, I'll let me know in your comments if you guys get one of these. If these, uh, if your butterfly joints do that, also, I'm kind of curious. Um, about if that's a uh, if I'm right about the uh, belt these figures run about China I think I paid like $55 on sale so they can you know add in US prices you're looking anywhere up to 60 bucks on average and of course you can pay more than that on scalping prices so you about an average good price for him would be 55 to 65 bucks or so um, I'm betting that's why that's what a average is going to be for you know dealers. So and to me on that, you're getting scalped. Hope you guys liked this review. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Many more figures coming and other things. I let people know what's going on, what I find, share information. So hit the notification bell so you don't miss none of that. Thanks for watching. Um, comment down below. Uh, We'll see you guys in our next review.